Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakai Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you, Akim, out there laboring in the faith. As we um, come into the year, the calendar year of 2021. And as you can see with the title of this lesson, 2021 will indeed be worse than 2020. And it's because the Heavenly Father is is um, not holding, holding back his words of prophecy in order to bring about the destruction of Babylon, which is um, America, okay? And... It is indeed going to get worse because in order for the kingdom of heaven to be established, we have to go through the the trials and the perils of this kingdom falling before we can receive the glorified kingdom of the kingdom of heaven that is soon to be established once Yahweh Shai returns. So starting off, this is 2nd Ezra, the 7th chapter, starting at 1. And when I had made an end of speaking these words, there was sent unto me the angel which had sent unto me the knights afore. And he said unto me, Up, Esdras, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, Speak on, my God. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? And that narrow way is, is alluding to the uh, straight and narrow, which represents that um, straight gate of following the truth onto the end. You know, because this world the broad path is set up for wickedness. It's set up for the things that's contrary to the Heavenly Father that the majority of, of the people, you know, follow. So that's why this world was is set up for many, but the kingdom that's soon to come is only set up for the few, which is the hopeful elect. So the two thirds that's gonna be cut off on this side, you know. Is not set for them to go into that, that narrow path. It says, There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things, which is, you know, talking about the kingdom of heaven soon to come. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set up and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, okay? So the fire and the water on the right and the, and the left hand represents all of those trials and tribulations that's going to be set before for us to try us as gold, okay? So we're going through that furnace of affliction, you know, in order to be purified in order to narrowly go through that narrow passage for the kingdom of heaven. That's what the times of tribulation that's set up in these times is, is going to do, you know, as far as our walk with Yahweh Shai, you know, on to the end, okay? And those that are purified and overcome, you know, they're going to receive, you know, the, the broad way, uh, after going through that narrow passage, you know, which is the receiving of the kingdom of heaven. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Okay? That's the reason why, you know, the majority of our people, you know, can't receive this doctrine is because it's not set for them to go to go to that narrow path. And that path is about to become even more narrow because these devils is about to put more restrictions in place on the
the liberties that the people of this society once had with um this this uh cripping virus passports cripping virus tr- uh checkpoints you know which is going to re- restrict traveling you know and it's going to be harder to maneuver in this society to do the things that you that you need to survive and get by to your day to day it says verse 10 and i said it is so lord then said he unto me even so also is israel's portion not to mention you know because this this is our portion you know before the coming of the kingdom of heaven to go through all these trials and tribulations you know those things, once uh, the fulfillment of, uh, you know, these checkpoints, you know, fulfills that prophecy in Ezra where it says that, you know, a man shall desire to go to a city and shall not be able. So let's bring that precept out real quick. That's straight to it. Um, it says, Second Ezra uh, 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Okay. So during the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, where they're going to have these checkpoints and travel bans set in place, lockdowns taking place, you know, it's going to be a fearful time because they're going to institute these vaccinations for the people that's going to be mandatory and you know the majority of the people is going to sub- submit to it you know while the elect is going to be guided away from from these things okay it says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, so with um, more and more businesses shutting down and this economy, you know, steadily declining, you know, people are going to get desperate to the point that they're going to be running in, into people's cribs, you know. And they're not going to have, have no pity as far as, you know, killing for what they need. Okay. And the majority of the people, you know, I I came across people, you know, especially at my job or whatnot, hoping that things are going to get better. But, you know, that's, you know, pretty much against what the most eyes, you know, bring to pass. You know, things are not going to go back to you know, what was normal as far as, you know, the the liberties that people enjoyed here in, in, in Babylon because the Most High is bringing that, that judgment and that destruction. So starting at the um, 14th verse, it says, Woe, which woe means destruction to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right. So we already seen, you know, with the um, unjust killings of you Israelites, you know, in 2020, how it sparked that whole Black Lives Matter protests, you know, all across the world. That's just to rouse you Israelites up. And also it's more so showing that you know you're in the land of your enemies so it's, that prophecy is you know as far as race war is taking place that's also going to be fulfilled you know more likely within 2020 okay for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power all right so it's not going to matter what position, you know, a person of authority is in, 
you know, they're, they're more than likely going to be getting it too in that day. They're more likely going to be the ones getting getting killed out in the streets, you know, because Jake is, you know, getting tired of the bullshit. And that's the Heavenly Father rousing you, you Israelites up. Okay? And I just wanted to show this article real quick, you know, just showing that this is a, this is part of f a fulfillment, you know, of a prophecy as far as um, how they're going to um, restrict travel. It says, if you want to travel next year, you may need a vaccine passport Ma or vaccine, so like a vaccine passport. Okay. So this is one of those unrighteous decrees that this devil is putting out, you know, to, you know, contain the masses for, for their new world order agenda, okay? Keep everybody contained so that they can get people set up to take these vaccinations, which is, you know, pretty much a poison, all right? And we've been bringing out through the spirit that this is a precursor before they institute that um, RFID microchip because more than likely if you accept this vaccine you're more than likely to accept that um, RFID microchip as well so this definitely isn't a time where you know you be looking for this place to go back to the so called normalcy that it once had before, prior before this whole pandemic hit. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right? And the men of the Lord, we're watching for that day because we know the prophecies. We know that according to, you know, measuring the times, according to the, the prophecies of, of, the, of the Bible, that these times are nigh at hand. You know, we're right in those these times. For when they shall say peace and safety, then shall sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right? So just when, you know, the masses of the people is taking these vaccinations and, you know, they're just saying, oh, okay, we can go back to so-called normal, you know, and then they write when they're probably rolling out the RFID microchip, you know, that's when another calamity is is going to take place, okay? And more destruction is going to gonna start happening. But it all has to happen, you know, in order for for our kingdom to be established here on the earth. Okay? This is uh, Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? All right? Because right now the wicked is in power. The righteous ain't ruling. We're not in our seat of rulership. We're not made joint hair, hairs with Yahweh Shai ruling over the nations. So there's no kingdom of righteousness established. This is a, the throne of iniquity that's in power. The powers that, that run and govern the earth rule in wickedness to enslave the people. Okay? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. All right? Because they want to, you know, pretty much try to make sure that you know, when Yahweh Shire returns, that there's no one left to be saved. Because if they could, they would kill, they would put to death every single one of us. Okay, but the Lord 
is not going to allow that to be. It says, but the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. All right, so we have our, our full faith and trust in the Heavenly Father that he's going to be our defense in these times, that he's going to keep us from, you know, from the dangers. Well, we're going to be within the dangers and the perils, but the Lord is going to keep us, okay? The Lord is going to watch over us, and he's going to guide us in his spirit. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, our power shall cut them off. All right, and that's, a, that's um, the impending destruction of these elites, these Edomites that's in rulership, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know. That's them, their throne of iniquity being casted down in order so that our kingdom can be established. This is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 12, verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinder cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, okay? Because the keepers of the house is trembling because more and more businesses are shutting down. This economy is further declining, okay? That's why the scriptures say there shall be no more work for Egypt, okay? And America is that modern-day Sodom and Egypt, okay? It says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. We're seeing that now. Okay? There's no, I mean, there's no more going out, di dining in, in these restaurants. There's no more going to the bars, you know, for the daughters of music to dance and, and be jovial and having a good time. You know, that, all of that is, is shut down. The mirth of the city is, is shut down. It says, also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about in the streets. Okay? So, you know, they, it's pretty much, you know, going to be set up to where, you know, it's not going to be, you know, the time of mirth, but a time of, of great mourning, okay? This is uh, Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Going back to that precept in 2 Ezra 7, verse 6 through 8, you know, in order for, for us to receive our kingdom, we have to go through this narrow path of difficulty, you know, the time of our of great tribulation, okay? And it's going to be to purify us of the hopeful elect, okay? So with that, you know, I hope you, Akim, was edified. And I want to give, once again, I'll give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahai Rakar Kodash, you know. And um, till next lesson, you know, I say Shalom and um, Abai Babal. <laughs>